Trudeau versus India. It began 10 days ago. Justin Trudeau blamed India for the murder of a terrorist. In these 10 days, he has offered no proof. Tonight, we'll tell you what Canada is hiding. What is Ottawa's relationship with Niger? Why is there so much secrecy around his case? He has a long history of run-ins with the law. Why do Canadian ministers refuse to speak about it? Why does their police go silent when asked about Hardeep Singh Nijjar? Tonight, we bring you their backstory. Nijjar escaped to Canada in 1996. He was in legal trouble in India. He was named in multiple terror cases. In the 80s and 90s, Nijjar was linked with a group called KCF, the Khalistan Commando Force, a terrorist organization pushing for a separate Sikh state. In 1995, they assassinated Bayan Singh. He was the chief minister of Punjab. They killed him. Nijjar was not named in this case, but he was linked to the killers. So he fled. In Canada, he engaged in more Khalistani activities. By the year 2012, he was linked with the Khalistan Tiger Force, KTF. That's another banned terrorist group. He was it was founded by a man called Jagdar Singh Tara. He was behind the assassination of Bayant Singh, this man. And Nijjar is said to have been his friend. Later, he went on to lead the group, the KTF. India gathered all this proof against him. Indian agencies said Nijjar used Canadian soil to plan attacks, to fund terrorists, and to give arms training against India. And New Delhi raised this matter with Ottawa. The issue blew up in the year 2016. That's when a report emerged. It revealed the full extent of Nijjar's terrorist activities. He had set up a camp in British Columbia to train a small group of Sikh youth. Nijjar was teaching them how to use guns, including AK-47s. India prepared a report and shared it with Canada. This report said, and I'm quoting, Nijjar has been imparting arms training to his group in Canada after the arrest of former KTF chief Jagtar Tara in Thailand by Interpol last year. He took Mandeep Singh and three more Sikh youths recently for AK-47 training in a range near Mission, where they were made to fire for four hours daily. This is the input that India gave to Canada, this report. Canadian lawmakers faced questions about it. Do you know what their response was? No comments. It did not matter who you asked. Everyone was tight-lipped in Canada, including Trudeau's ministers. Ralph Goodale was Canada's public safety minister then. He was asked about Niger. Listen to his response. I'm quoting again. Wherever there is a credible threat to the police and security authorities of Canada, respond appropriately in robust ways. Whatever action needs to be taken is to be taken. Evasive and non-committal. That's what he's being. What about the police? The Royal Canadian Mounted Police or RCMP. They were asked about Nijjar, and here's what they said. Not in a position to speak to specific allegations, threats, or ongoing investigations. In other words, no comments. Even Canada's Justice Department refused to speak. They were asked about Nijjar's extradition, if they'd received any extradition requests for Nijjar. Response, no comment. We can neither confirm nor deny this. That's what they said, the judicial authorities. Nijjar too spoke about this case. He said that he is a Canadian citizen, just a plumber. There is nothing on his record, and he called the claims garbage. He also wrote to Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister, pleading innocence. It was all very shady, and it was about to get worse. In April 2018, Nijjar had another run-in with the law. He was taken into custody. The Canadian law enforcement detained him for 24 hours. It's not clear on what grounds. The police refused to speak. All they said was no charges had been filed. Guess who was Nijjar's lawyer in this case? Gurpatwan Singh Pannu, another Khalistani terrorist, member of Sikhs for Justice. It's also a banned outfit. He regularly features in videos spewing hate about India and issuing threats against Indian leaders. Last week, Indian investigators seized his properties in Punjab. So Pannu was Nijjar's lawyer, which is not strange at all two Khalistanis helping each other. But the studied silence of Canada is very strange. The secrecy around the whole affair, the allegations against Nijjar, the extradition request in 2016, the detention in 2018, ask them anything about any of these things, and you will hit a wall. So I repeat the question, what 
Are they trying to hide? We went through all of their statements from 2016 to 2018. They do not deny anything. They just refuse to comment. So we wrote to the Canadian police ourselves, asking about Nidjar's detention. They replied, but they did not answer our question. The same authorities are now probing Nidjar's death, and again, secrecy prevails.